Hey guys, I'm back. So today I'm going to be explaining this little thing I built, right? Um, whoa, that's a weird light. That is so weird. It doesn't it doesn't actually look like that. Sorry, it doesn't actually look like that, but um, not much I can do about the uh, weird look. Sorry, maybe this. Give it some contrast. I don't know. Anyway, um, well, basically what it is, is it it's, um, divides voltage that's coming in by 10. So, if you have an incoming, like, it lets your multimeter basically measure much higher voltage than normal. So if you are multimeter, say, like mine, it can only measure 600 volts, right? This divides the incoming voltage by 10, so now it can measure, um... 6,000 volts. So, uh, what what it does is when my multimeter here, this Amprobe AM240, when it um, is measure when it's measuring voltage, it has around 10 million ohms, 10 mega ohms of uh, basically of uh, basically so between the probes here when it's measuring voltage, so between the two probes when it's measuring voltage, there is it, it would be the equivalent of a 10 mega ohm resistor, right? So, we all know that if you want to divide something, you can use a voltage uh, divider, right? A resistor divider. So, um, what you could do is, so what I've done here is, assuming mine has a 10 mega ohm impedance, which it does according to the manual, and if you want to divide by 10, then since um, conveniently 10 is one tenth of 100, you just need a 90 mega ohm resistor, because 90 plus 10 is 100, and this being 90%, so if you put this first, right, so you would connect the positive of what you want to measure here, you would connect this to the positive of your multimeter, and the negative of your multimeter to the negative of what you would measure, 90% of the voltage would be dropped across here, and only 10% would be measured by the multimeter, meaning that your multimeter would measure 10% of the voltage, so whatever was on your multimeter would just be um, times 10, that'd be the real voltage. Um, so that lets my multimeter measure voltages up to 6,000 volts, which is useful for partic particle accelerators. So um, the way I built it is I just had some 3.3 uh, mega ohm resistors, and I just soldered, you know, like I think 27 it took in series. You know, funny, because that's how many kilometers of tunnel underground uh, is the LHC. But anyway, it was like 27 resistors uh, soldered in series to create 90 mega ohms. Anyway, that's that's all I did. It's actually really, really simple to build. I just put it in this case with the lead sticking out. Um, they're just all in series. Anyway, that's it. It's um, it's really nice to actually have that capability, though. So to uh, be able to, you know, measure extra high voltage. The problem is that since they're 3.3 mega ohm resistors, and they're they're only like 5% resistors, so this thing is kind of out of spec by you know, I'd say 7 to 10 percent, 5 to 10 percent, it's out of spec, so really when it's measuring 550 volts, it's measuring 600 volts. So, I know that's quite a bit, but, um, it's, if I was measuring 6,000 volts, um, it, it would probably do decently. At least it lets you get up there, it gives you a general idea, you know, so. Anyway, thanks for watching, just, you know, find out the, to build one, just find out how uh, the series uh, resistance of your multimeter when it's in uh, voltage mode, and then multiply that by 10, then minus what you originally multiplied by 10, and then you get this. So since mine was 10 mega ohms, times 10 is 100 mega ohms, minus 10 is 90, so this needed to be 90 mega ohms. So thanks for watching. Bye.